Hello, and welcome to another Mario Party 5 minigame review. Today we're playing the 1 vs 3 minigame, Big Top Drop. Mario and friends go to the circus. One player's on the trapeze, dropping balls down below, and the other three players are on a tightrope trying to dodge the balls. It's the kind of show you'd pay big bucks for to see at a real circus. Who doesn't want to see a bunch of people fall off a tightrope? Well, clearly the toads in Mushroom Kingdom want to pay for it. I also want to know where the single player keeps all the balls that they're throwing down. There's so many of them. I think there's a magic bag that they've come out of. One of those endless Mary Poppins bags, you know? If you're the single player throwing the balls down, you have two options to do it. Although I don't know if it really makes a big difference. One of them just drops them straight down and the other one has you toss them up and then fall down. So I guess the time distance before the balls get to the players is a little bit different, but we just kind of mash both buttons whenever we wanted. Yeah, I think that strategy is to kind of throw the players off down below. So you've got some that are falling really fast and then some that are a little bit more staggered. I don't think it's a very refined strategy, but maybe if you played it a lot, you might find something that works better for you. Yeah, the issue with it is that you basically just want to drop as many balls as you can on the players. So you're not really spending a lot of time deciding which dropping method is the best one to use for that specific scenario. When I was swinging over one of the players, I would just hit both buttons as much as I could and hope that it surprised them enough to knock them off of the tightrope. Yeah, exactly. I think I was able to drop more balls than I was able to throw them up because I think there was a little bit of a time difference. But either way, just throw as many or drop as many as you can. I think I had more fun playing as the team players though on the tightrope. Although funnily enough, you felt differently than I did and you preferred being the player that was dropping the balls. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought that was a little bit more fun trying to get the players out than it was to try and dodge the balls. I did find that it was a little challenging to try and get the middle player out though because the physics of swinging has you hold a little bit higher on each side rather than going faster through the middle, but I still had fun with it. One strategy that I used only occasionally as one of the players on the tightrope was to jump. When you jump, you can obviously move a lot farther away, but the downside of it is that you're stunned for a second when you land, so if a ball is right above you when you land, you're basically screwed. However, if you use it in the right scenario, it can help you get out of the way of danger. Yeah, you had some luck with that strategy. It was kind of fun to dodge out of the way of the balls, but also there were times where you really couldn't dodge out of the way. So I felt like there was some times where I didn't have as much fun playing, but that's also just this mini game. Yeah, overall, I think both sides have their fun parts and their annoyances. Playing on the tightrope is fun when you just get to drop a bunch of balls and kill everyone else. But at the same time, it is a little tougher hitting the players in the middle since you have less time to hit the button at just the right moment. And if you're on the tightrope, it is fun dodging out of the way, but it's also tough to win when there's a bunch of balls right over your head and you basically have nowhere to go but down. So while it's not the worst minigame, it's also not the best, which means we're giving this one three stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and you guessed it, hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Bill Blasters. If your name is Bill, you better look out because we're coming after you. Come back to play it with us. Hope, Hope to see you then. then.